This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. But with me, as always, as always, is always my co-host, Nick Mesos. What do you have to? It's me. I'm, yeah. I'm here. I'm about to record a podcast. I'm feeling good about it. You're feeling good about it, right? Is it because it's Venom Week? Well, it was nearly Snake Eyes Week. That's true. We promised we'd do Snake Eyes this week. But we then, had to push it. Then we forgot that Carnage, the big red Venom, yeah. is, uh, <laughs> it's debuting this week and probably several weeks ago, more months ago yeah. uh, in other but countries. It also so. came to streaming. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. So uh, get on it, folks. Get on it. Uh, before you get on it, and I'm going to go through the topics for this week because people love to jump around using the time codes. Presumably. I just know at least one person gets angry if they're not there for a second or whatever. I understand. Um, we're on a couple of things this week. Yes, this podcast. This certainly. podcast, yep, that's yep. one. What's the what's another thing? Another one we were on is we were on Dave Warnicky's podcast. As a team, yep. we were on Book Cheat uh, where uh, Dave Warnicky, uh, he, he reads a book so you don't have to. He tells he, you a story. He tells you all about the book and, and, the, and the plot and the themes and you have, we, have a bit of a, we have a bit of a laugh. Yeah. It's, you know? And then you can take that knowledge and go to a fancy dinner party and pretend you've read the book as well. Exactly. And then if anybody asks you any follow-up questions that aren't covered on the podcast, you leap out of a window. <laughs> yeah, that's you right. leap out of a closed window, shattering or you, glass, or and just, they remember you forever. Yeah. Or you're like, oh, I read it in college. I read it in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, read it. I just actually read that one in college, so yeah, it's, yeah. A bit, it's not fresh in my mind. And they're like, you're 17 years old. You have never even been to college. And you're like, ah, and you have to leap out of that window again. <laughs> you shouldn't have been at a dinner party if you're a 17-year-old. You should be drinking in a park like that's all 17-year-olds. That's exactly right. A yeah. park or under a bridge. <laughs> a right. dinner party under a bridge. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, uh, 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 he told us all about the James Bond thriller novel, Ian Fleming's From Russia with Love. I had a grand old time on that one. I'll tell you that much, mm, Mason. Me too. Uh, yeah, we talk a little bit about the new movie, but it's obviously uh, we talk the comparisons between that and the original movie and the book and the yeah. history of Fleming, and we make fun of him That's true. a little bit. And Dave Warnicky <laughs> was going to take his dad to No Time to Die, so I'd, I'd be very excited for an Ooh, update on that. Oh, yeah, we really want to we get him back on the pod just for a minute just to ask yeah. him. If his dad thought that one yeah. was better than the last one. We make him drive down here. Yep. We bring him in. We say, what'd your dad think of it? Yep. And he says, he thought it was fine. He goes, I go, think it was better than the last one. Yeah, and we say, thanks, Dave. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> so you in hell. Yeah. Your dad- gonna le- you got to leap out this window now. Yeah. Your dad's waiting in the car. Yeah. The engine's running. You need to go. Uh, I was on a second thing, though, that I, yeah. uh, you might be familiar with Matt, who uh, edits a bunch of the videos on the YouTube channel. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's a terrific editor, but he's not only a terrific editor. He's being. He's, he's being, a terrific redditor. He's a, he might be. He's a terrific content creator because he's got a channel uh, which focuses on a lot of Let's Plays called 38 Seconds, right? I see. They're currently going through all the different colossi from Shadow of the Colossus, which, oh, is, right. which is a good fun time with him and his friend William. But I went on to, uh, to play. We played together. An absolute classic. An absolute banger from the year 1990. So you went to his house. Went to his house. Mm-hmm. Uh, took, took that flight. Took that flight. <laughs> Two weeks quarantine. That's it. And we played the Defenders of the Earth side-scrolling uh, absolute nightmare of a game. Uh, just trying to get as far as we could. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. Existed. It, it came out in 1990, and yet the show w- went for one season in 86. I don't know Oh, and is what... this, was this on the Amiga? It was on the saying? Amiga, okay, yeah. Right, right, right. So, uh, I have seen it. That was a lot of fun. I'm, um, a big, I'm a big Amiga fan from way back. Like, we, we get into the history, a bit of the characters. We get into... Uh, James, James, yep. James, imagine if James Bond was sponsored by the Amiga. Like the watch. Oh, like the, the Amiga the 500, yeah. yeah. And he He's, had to just... He's got one in his Carry backpack. Around. <laughs> he's, always, he's always carrying the Amiga 500 around with him. <laughs> well, Bondus, you bought the Amiga. Which is the one? Yes, that... it's got one megabyte of RAM. <laughs> Normally it comes with 500K, but I got the expansion pack. He plays a video game. You in... got me the expansion pack. He plays a video game in Never Say Never Again, like the a weird hologram, hologram yeah. video. It's like Battleship, battleship or something. Battleship something, yeah. yeah. Mm. Anyway, both of those things are linked below. Both a lot of fun. Uh, please it's check terrific. them out. 
and, and we're doing oh, our Hawkeye. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Collings is uh, is chipping away at those every week. Luckily, they put the first two episodes together. Yeah. And uh, so he, there's only five in total as opposed to six. When we recorded uh, the first one of those, episodes yeah. one and two, I spent the entire thing going, I thought of something when I was watching the show. Yep. And it's really important. Because at the end, I, I remember, we paused yeah, I, for a I, while. I got, I got to think then I think you got thing. distracted and went I think on people Twitter. Are gonna, I think people are going to like need to know this thing. Yeah. That, that occurred to me while I was watching this. And, yeah, and afterwards, and it, and it bugged me the whole time, and then afterwards I'm like, okay, give me another minute because i got to think of this thing. Yeah. And I didn't think of it, and I went away, and then I remembered like several days later that the thing I thought of was that the Rogers the Musical yeah. uh, was a shrekingly good time. That's all. <laughs> that was, was the thing. That was what I was going to say. In there. Did have that vibe, didn't it? Mm, it was, yeah. Yeah, you, could, you did not enjoy that at all. No, cringy. <laughs> that particular moment. Yeah. But I'm excited for the show. I'm excited for Absolutely. the five Four to eight to episodes. Seven episode episodes. That's right. Anyway, so this week uh, we're going to talk about what the new biggest uh, movie of the year, some Spider-Man No Way Home details. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazon Studios might be doing something with Mass Effect. Ooh. Trailers Ahoy uh, for uh. League of Super. That's right, League of Super Pets and a new Jurassic World thing. Maybe uh. a new Joker question mark. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, I'm not. I'm thinking of a different thing. You might be. Uh, Ridley Scott, Scott just going absolutely off chops. That's right. Uh, and then, of course, Star Wars news, uh, courtesy <laughs> of Kathleen Kennedy's own. Off chops, Scott, is what we call him now. <laughs> and we will henceforth, henceforth refer to him on the podcast. And then... Uh, <laughs> like, off, we'll, do a, we'll do a recurring segment. We'll be like, hmm, off chops, Scott is surprisingly quiet this week. He is, isn't he? Mm. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to talk about Venom too. Um, we just did a clickbait episode as well, where we talk a little bit about Ridley Scott, and we talk about horrible click clickbait articles. And that's at BigSandwich.co if you don't want to check it out. Anyways, we're going to get started. The uh, this is by Deadline, the new number one movie of the year. Is it Red Notice? It's Red Notice. Is it really? Everybody in the world watched it. 1,000 times. 278 <laughs> million hours of viewing or something we read in a I don't early. believe it. Yeah. I'm you not, can just say anything. I know you watched it, right? Yes. But I haven't watched I don't know. Like, even my normie friends have, haven't mentioned it. Yeah, And right. they talk about every, anything. Like, mm. it, like I, get a lo- I get a message a month, maybe even once every two weeks, from the same guy that's like, when's Top Gun 2 coming out? I'm not joking. Is it? It's not. Huh. Bleep the name, please. Okay. Go ahead. Bleep this one too. Now it's going to sound like I'm saying a swear. <laughs> it's <laughs> bleep that okay, two sure, comments. Yeah. And I'm like, June, I've been telling you this for like a fucking year. Put a note in your phone, <laughs> you know? I'm not the internet. Mm. Anyway. But you are the internet's representative, I Next time he does that. Amongst I'm... your friends, you're the internet's representative. <laughs> I am, actually. You're the most internet guy they know. I probably am, actually. Are you the most online guy they know, do you think? Ah, uh, no, Because all... there's a difference between being an internet guy, I think, and being... Like I'm, I'm both an internet guy, I think, and perpetually online. I think uh, there's a few of them who are online in certain Facebook groups. It seems, but look, oh, it's either, you know that it's not Red Notice. Good on it. They're making another two. Apparently, I'll get around to it one day. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, No Time to Die is now the biggest movie of the year. Uh, previously, it was Fast Nine, which had 733 million. This has snuck ahead. Oh, sorry, it was 725 million. These numbers don't matter. And then uh, 733 million. No Time to Die has crept out ahead, um, which, you know, is good. Uh, two major properties competing, but one of them I liked slightly better than the other one. So the good guys win. I think I read some – did I read this week that No Time to Die, it's, it's, it's achieved some sort of goal where it's the highest grossing movie of the year, but it's the lowest grossing Bond, blockbuster, blockbuster or, or Bond movie or something. Yeah, it might be something like that. I, I think it's probably earned more than like Quantum and – Maybe even Casino Royale, actually. But yeah. it's for a blockbuster, for the biggest blockbuster of the year, yeah, it's low. Mm. But it's obviously higher than last year, and the numbers are creeping up. And speaking of uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, speaking of creeping up. That's right. Thank you. Like a Spider-Man. Uh, the tickets are on sale, I think, by the time this goes out. Whoa. Um, it looks like it's on track to beat it, and it will probably hit a billion. Nice. I mean, but who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah, we get a piece of that, right? Yeah. Every time yeah, right. we mention it. <laughs> they send us a Hawkeye. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> no, they send us a Hawkeye gift box. Which Finally, we... these random outbursts that I have have come in handy financially. I know, right? Spider-Man, Spider-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man. Of course, you know, I think I probably said, I'm pretty sure I said that Batman v Superman would have hit a billion. Like, if mm. it's not good, it's not going to matter. It's true. You know, it won't, <laughs> won't necessarily make it. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's 
the world is, uh, is healing just on the back of another variant, maybe. Who knows what that one's going to do? Yep. It's exciting, isn't it? It's very exciting. I'm it's excited. always good when the virus drops a new release <laughs> or something. <laughs> That's right. What's the, what's the expression for dropping an album? Mixtape? A mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, yeah. a poison that poisons your body. Mm. But, you know. A tapeworm. A tapeworm. That's right. This is why I'm, I'm going to look so thin. <laughs> this is why uh, in your coffin. This is why a big screen leaks. You, you get a cheap coffin, though, don't you? You get the thin coffin, the thin man's coffin. That would probably be more expensive, though, wouldn't it, if you went a thin man's Like a coffin. tailored coffin. Yeah. Yes, it would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they pr- they're, like, pretty standard size, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like an hourglass-shaped shaped coffin. <laughs> What is, is there an oboe in this? What is this? <laughs> uh, big screen leaks are reporting that uh, this, speaking of Spider-Man, this mm. new movie is going to clock in at two hours and 28 minutes, making it the fourth longest MCU movie. Okay. Endgame was three hours and two minutes. Infinity War was two hours and 37 minutes. And The Eternals was two hours and 29 minutes. So this will, be, this will be a minute shorter than The Eternals. Interesting. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it was that last minute that did me in, I think. It did, didn't it? You were on board. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there you go. So, you know, I, I don't know why I put that in, but it is news. It's good to know how long you're going to be in a cinema for. It is, isn't it? Yes. Mm. How Dad. many choc tops do I need to buy? Mm. Two, two choc tops. too many. Yeah, no. The, would, the, would it keep for the second? I think it might. I'm always torn, James, because you know I love a choc top. But also it, feel, it always feels – other countries have – do other countries have choc tops? The UK does. It's a waffle cone. It's got a ball of ice cream on the top, and it's got a hard chocolate shell. Yeah, yeah. So, so they, they can mass scoop storage. It. They don't have them. to scoop them. Yeah, but but because a choc top always feels like a dessert to me. Yeah, like it's dessert well, it is. food. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a choc. It's a choc top. But but I I always have to eat it first because I'm like otherwise it's going to melt on oh, my seat. Oh, good point. So I have to eat the choc top during the like the opening trailers, and then I'm eating Then I'm eating dinner second a with, popcorn. My, with my popcorn and my Or a pizza coke. that you've ordered. Yes. Yeah. But then the, but what if I order a pizza? I don't think, I'd ever, I don't think I've ever ordered a pizza and a choc top at the same time because the choc top would get cold. The, the, the pizza would get cold and the choc top would, would melt. Yeah. So I did, it, Sophie's choice. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, you know depending. Both of my children, I have to <laughs> decide which one to sacrifice. I mean, if you went a gold class, you'd get them to bring in a choc oh, top. Oh, I could, couldn't I? Yeah, that's All true. All you got to do is $18 yeah, yeah. for a ticket so someone could bring yeah. you a choc top. What I could do is I could I could order a, a, a popcorn and a drink going into the cinema. I could eat the popcorn and the drink, and then I could simply set my phone to film the sh- the, the movie as I leave, and I go oh, and get a choc top, and then yeah. I could come back in and I could stop my yeah, phone, yeah. and then I could then I could watch it. You know, in maybe like double fast time. I, I could hold a phone. I could live stream it to your phone. Oh yeah, that'd be great actually. Yeah, but you'd have to get me a choc top. Yeah, you know, I can do that. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't. I don't want it, but I, you have to get me one. Okay, <laughs> all right, sure. <laughs> so Can they, I eat the second choc top? No, it's for, it's for me. Oh, it's your choc top. It's okay. for me to put on the floor and then forget about. Okay, great. Anyways, Deadline are reporting that Amazon Studios are closing a deal on a live action Mass Effect series. Oh, this makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. People are loving the TV show Arcane. People yeah. are tweeting us, telling us. Watch the TV show Arcane. It's on my list. I haven't watched it yet. Mm. I'm we- working my way through F is for Family, which I'll probably talk about a right. bit later, and some other stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, I do want to watch it, especially because people are like, this is genuinely great. And it's always nice when something's genuinely great. That's true. Yeah. Uh, and they, I think they also announced Arcane Season 2, but it's not going to be like for a couple of years. Oh, right, right. Because this one was like five years in the making mm-hmm. or something. Now, Mass Effect. Yes. Now, Mass Effect famously is- Master for Effect, I think. That's was right. the first one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is, uh, oh, because the character's name is Mastifer. Mastifer. Like Christopher. Yeah. Right. Mastifer Effectiveness. Yeah. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but his friends call him Mass Effect. <laughs> but the question is... That game, it, we need you, Mass Effect. <laughs> the moon's going to crash into a, another moon. <laughs> this second moon's just come out of nowhere. <laughs> probably because of the Mass Effect, which is a different thing, but it's very coincidental <laughs> that it's your name is also... Yeah, we know. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> just, a coinc- just a fun coincidence. Um... But it's famously a, a game where you can choose the 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 appearance of yeah. your, the outward appearance the of your gender, car, character yeah. and what have you. So who they're going to cast as? It's tough, Master isn't it? Effect. <laughs> uh, do Master you... Chief, Master for, Master for Effect. Yeah, that's a great. Yes, question. the stutter is. I there. think they're going to go with the 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 generic, the generic guy, man the guy with the crew cut. I'd yeah. imagine, but it's yeah. nice to have a bit of uh, flexibility in that, though. I reckon. Mm. Um, How about this? Yeah, brother and sister team, yeah. same name. Separate adventures, nobody can get mad. Master for Master Fett. 
Yes, like Smurfette. Like Smurfette, that's right. Yeah, I guess you could do it like that, yeah. you know. You could switch it every episode or whatever. Oh, inexplicably, yeah. sure. Or deliberately gender change machine. Yeah, totally. <laughs> the only way to get from one side of the ship to the other yeah. side of the ship is you have to go through a gender switch It's machine. like a teleporter, except yeah. it switches your gender. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes Other... you're a human fly. <laughs> I've never played a single second of Master for Effectiveness. I played the first one. Yeah, they're obviously well loved. I know the last one was like rushed and bad and uh, not very and good. And didn't have a it, – it, I, I, if I remember correctly, the most recent one had a sort of a – you can – all your decisions decide you – know, all your decisions affect the ending or whatever and it's just like you could choose from like – a, a, an ending with like green fire and ending with blue fire and ending with red yeah. fire, essentially. It's always a lie yeah. when they say shit like that. But I, again, I, I look, I played the first one. I thought it was pretty solid. But yeah. also, I think all the spectacular stuff happens in the sequels. I think there's a the yes. one, one of the, I think, again, I think it's the third one. You fight a giant Terminator robot, which is pretty. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. It's that, uh, I think also if you play like, because I've been meaning to pick them up for years and I never had. But uh, with the second one, you can just be like, it gives you like a like do you want a recap and it will just give you a recap and if you only right. play the third one it does it does a similar thing and you can quickly make the choices that you mm. wanted to make like leading up to it or whatever yeah. so you can just yeah but anyway you play the third one it gives you the option only a recap of the first one yes. <laughs> it skips the middle stuff and it's like yeah the second one was kind of boring actually mm, i think that was a good one though wasn't it i think it and might. then they made them change the ending of the third one remember because yeah, people weren't yeah. happy with it or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Anyways, enough of this thing neither of us know anything about. That's right. At least you've played one of the games. Yeah. Trailers Ahoy Mason. Uh, uh, there was League of Super Pets. I realized I didn't watch that. Did you watch it? I didn't watch it, but I do know one thing that uh, Mark Should... Maron is playing Lex Luthor. That's good. Mm. And I know John Krasinski is Superman. And I've just got the trailer open now, and uh, Superman's asleep, and Buddy Crypto is trying to wake him up. That's funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny joke. That is funny joke. Uh, and Crypto also wears glasses, I guess, as some kind of disguise. What is this? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway <laughs> And it appears he's trapped and they have to... Ch- I, don't, I don't know what this is. Anyway, but uh, off the back of that, though... He should... Crypt, you know, you know, James, I don't know if you're aware, but you know how uh, Superman is very powerful and so he pretends to be Clark Kent, normal man, who's yeah. like a like a slumped-over nerd with glasses because yeah. he's, he's a weaker man or whatever. Mm. Crypto's disguise should be... He should be one of those dogs that has to wear, like, a big diaper because he's, <laughs> he's old and his, and and his bowels and his bowels are not, not great or whatever. Or, like, the, he's got the wheels because his back yeah, legs yeah, don't yeah, work. Yeah, 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 that's good stuff. It is good stuff. Yeah. Uh, humanizing as he's well. He's a fake three-legged dog. He, he conceals <laughs> that's much. Why like those seagulls at the beach. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, you, you think, think they got one leg? On the nap, two legs. They got you. <laughs> you gave them chips and everything. You're betrayed. You shake your fists as they walk away <laughs> at fast speed with two legs. Uh, but I they... gave you my chips, <laughs> Seagull. I did, uh, I did, however, I emailed you. Uh, I, I, I sent you a text message, I should say, yes. to watch the Jurassic World Dominion first five That's minutes. You did, yes. Which was very bold to put out because it's still not out for like six months at least. Yeah. What's um, interesting, so so in this in this first five minutes, assuming I saw the correct first five minutes. Yeah, maybe. It's, uh, it's the distant past. Yep. And we see a bunch. The eighties. Yeah, that's right. We see a bunch of dinosaurs uh, going about their daily biz. Yep. I thought a lot of it was quite cute and charming. Like yep. there's a there's a, a little dino and he's picking meat out of. There's them. a walking with dinosaurs vibe. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a there's hello Wally, and you're leaving again. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a uh, yeah, like a little dinosaur. He's picking teeth out of what you think maybe is a dead T Rex, but then it's it's just sleeping. I thought that yeah. was fun. And there's some you know some uh, some buddy dinosaurs. Yeah. I thought that it in there's and, a battle. And then there was a smash cut 65 million years years later, and then we see yeah. uh, there's a there's a there's a double bill at the drive in theater. Yes. And uh then some dinosaurs attack because they've all been released into the wild, a la, uh, uh, according to the last the last Jurassic World. Damn you, Rafe Spall. Yes. He was the villain, wasn't he, I think, in the last one. Sure was. And there was a clone. Or Toby Jones. Was Toby Jones in one of those was movies? Also in that movie. Was he at the auctioneer or something? It doesn't matter. He might have been the auctioneer. He might have was he was selling that dinosaur that attacks a laser. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Good Could we stuff. use a laser guided bomb instead? No. What are you, an idiot? Could we use a tank? No. No. A tank you can control. <laughs> a dinosaur you can barely control. <laughs> as we'll soon demonstrate when it stops following the laser and starts uh, eating everybody yeah, in this auction. Um, I thought initially that this image of the dinosaurs crossing the savannah and all that sort of stuff was going to be the modern day. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because the, the premise of the last one, obviously, there's now we're, now sure. we have to we have to live with dinosaurs in in the modern world, right? Mm. So I I was like, oh, that's that's fun. They've they've developed their own ecosystem, and maybe yeah. we've abandoned a certain section of 
the desert and allow dinosaurs to live in it, but no. No, it was the origin of the T-Rex. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was the original T-Rex that got the blood and cloned from and yeah, et cetera. Right, right, right. And then it bust through in the in the, in the the theatre, as mentioned. I can't remember the, the movies they were playing. But American I, Graffiti and, and Flash Gordon. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so it was the 80s. That's, <laughs> that's true. Even though yeah. the last movie was set in the modern day. So, yeah, it uh, looks really good. That, all, would be a, that would be a – are they particular homages? Because one's Lucas, right? Uh, another one's and Flash Gordon is some old guy who's dead, some old yes. dead guy. Some old – he did direct Flash Gordon. Let me check. I've never seen it. We did talk about that also on our 38. I thought months. I had this week. You know how – and mate, I, I, I thought you would know the answer to this. I doubt it. Because in, in uh, some months ago I went on uh, Friends of the Show Total Reboot podcast. Oh, yes, yes. We talked about Robocop, and we did briefly mention that Robocop 2 was directed by Irvin Kirshner. Yeah. Who also directed Empire Strikes Back. He did. So my question to you was – is Irvin Kirshner directing Empire Strikes Back? Did he actually direct it, or was it one of those situations where, on paper, he directed, but it was actually somebody no? He else? did. The third one was kind of more Lucas. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of interaction between, like, there was a lot of pushback, and that's why I think Empire is good. Yeah, because right. Because there was like a couple of creators. There was like Gary Kurtz and Irvin Kirshner and George Lucas, and I can't remember who the and the writer who wrote Force Awakens. Can't remember his name. J.J. Abrams. No, it was a. It was the original ones. I can't remember. Harrison Ford. It was Harrison Ford? Yes. Yep. Uh, and then by the third one, J- Lucas just like steamrolled the director. Yeah. But Irvin right, Kirshner right. taught George Lucas at film school. Uh, I think he did some Bond films why. as well. He yeah, did a he bunch did, of stuff. He did yeah. the. Um, he did Never Golden Say Never Gun? Again. Oh, is that what he did? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, what yeah, a weird career Mike, that guy's had. I know, right? Mike Hodges uh, was the director, and he directed like Get Carter, the original. Your Codge. Yes. Your Codge directed. Mike it. Hodge directed it. Wow. So there you go. That's and he's still rude. alive. He's 89 years old. Your Codge is 89 Codge years is old. Your Codge is 89 years old. I did not misspeak. <laughs> anyway, Jurassic World Dominion, looking forward to looking, it. Yeah, looking Even fun. if they're bad, I'm going to watch them That's every right. single goddamn one yeah. of them. This is via Facebook. This is, Whoa, all right. I know. Is this, did you dive into the metaverse to get this? I had to. Yeah, I put, put on, on a headset. Oculus, yeah. I put on a headset and I walked into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Let fun. me ask you a question. How... How, how simple is the technology for Metaverse going to have to get before you are willing to use it? Because uh, I, I wear glasses. It would have to be a pair of glasses. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That like, I can't feel. I wear, like, I wear these glasses and I don't really notice it anymore, like mm. a, a, as a recent convert to glasses. Yeah. If they were any heavier than this, I'm like, Convert? Nah. You mean like yeah, you had to I had glasses. to wear them. That's right. <laughs> I guess then. <laughs> yeah, as a re- you know, I really, I was, shown the, I was shown the value of glasses in the sense that if I don't wear them, I walk into walls. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it, if it, if I like just the idea of having to put on a helmet yeah. to go and do a, a meeting. Yeah, exactly. Not that I go to any meetings, but no, I know. But just it's it honestly, I I watched that. Not I didn't watch it. I watched people making fun of it, and I sure. went, "This is disgusting." I'm jumping on board, making fun of this. <laughs> I'm jumping on the virtual making fun of Meta Train toot toot. Why is he like that? I don't know. I think we've brought it up a bit, but like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? Like, uh, genuinely. That's it. That's, that's, a mystery, that's a good question. It? I think he just wants that Johnny Mnemonic snow crash kind of virtual yeah, world. But like he's everything about him. Like he blinks weird. And I know there's mm. like the lizard person memes and all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. like what's with these haircuts? Like mm. the whole thing. And when he picks his metaverse character, it's 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 it's, it's, it's him. Just him. It's exactly. Yeah. yeah, right. Didn't have a robot arm or anything. Sure. I don't know. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. I d- also, I, I do like the idea that your avatar in the metaverse would just be you but with a robot arm. <laughs> yeah, just so jeans what? and a T-shirt and a robot arm. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the robot arm do? Nothing. Nothing. Just, just an arm. Yeah. Anyway, this is by uh, Barry Keo- uh, Keoghan. And you, I looked up how to pronounce that. Mm-hmm. His and bro- it's Keoghan? Yeah, sorry. He's, uh, he, he was in, yeah, apparently. He was in Eternals. Oh, yes. He's, he's um, um, don't, don't. Druig. He's Druig. The guy That's I remember. Right. He yes. was in um he was in Dunkirk. Anyway, his brother, Eric, went on Facebook okay. and wrote, So it's finally out. Oh, uh, this might be a spoiler for the Batman if you want to jump ahead. Okay. Uh, it's finally out, my brother playing the Joker in the new Batman, unreal stuff. <laughs> so, right then. And then he deleted it. Okay, because sure. Because Warner Brothers probably beat him to death. Yeah. Um, so there you go. So apparently in it. And we also know somebody who has seen the new Batman. Do we? And we probably can't say who. Yeah, oh. they messaged us. Did they? Yeah. All right then. Great. Mm, we can't say though because it's right. they probably signed a thing. Oh, I can't mm. remember now. Yep. Robert Let's Pattinson. say their name. It's Robert Pattinson. Yeah. yeah. Yep, exactly. He's like, hey, fellows. 
Hello, it's gents. Me. Hello. I'm Robin Pattinson. You know me from movie. I do, Robert. I do. Uh... <laughs> He doesn't understand plurals. Oh, doesn't Robert he? Robert Pattinson, yeah. Yeah. You know me from movie. He only remembers the last movie he did. <laughs> you know me from movie. Uh, you know me from the Batman. We haven't seen it, Robert. <laughs> we haven't seen it. We know. We know you. Yeah. In general. But uh, anyway, so BBC Radio We know you from the Lighthouse. Four. What? <laughs> you what? The Lighthouse. Did we go on holiday? Oh, Robert. No, Robert Pattinson. Robert, you need help. Um... <laughs> 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 This character will not endure. I'm, I'm <laughs> predicting it right now. <laughs> BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Ridley Scott. Robert Pattinson with memory <laughs> problems. Doesn't fly. Seems cruel, honestly. <laughs> it's not even like it's not even an it's element not, of his character no, in real life. It's not even an element yeah. of his celebrity persona. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. Because I said movie instead oh, yeah. of movies. That's anyway, okay. Ridley Scott spoke to BBC Radio 4. Mm. Uh, this is about Blade Runner, actually. He said, we've already written the pilot for Blade Runner and the Bible. So we're already presenting Blade Runner as a TV show, probably the first 10 hours. So despite these movies never being popular, <laughs> never making money, yeah. there might be an anime going at the moment on yeah, Netflix sure. or Why something. Yep, great. And there's comic books. And, you know, people like him. Sometimes they rebrand to Andrew's, Andrew, does Andrew dream of electric does sheep? He? <laughs> sometimes he does. No, sometimes they rebrand do Android's dream of electric sheep as like Blade Runner the yeah. novel. And then there's, there's been some Blade Runner sequel novels. Yep. And you start to read that do Android's dream of electric sheep. And you're like, what the fuck is this? Yes. Like maybe somebody, you know, did that. Maybe uh-huh. some, maybe someone, you know, did that. Was it you? Yeah, it was me. Okay. I've also read it. So yeah. <laughs> I have not read it. I've read some of it. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, they're giving it another red hot piping go. Really? It must do well streaming then or something. Cause or somebody, at, whoever I mean, owns maybe, it. Must... Maybe. But I mean, this also might be like, all right, we're giving you like, you know, they might be like, uh, okay, Ridley, this is your last IP that you have that we it's got are willing to take a chance on. Yeah, I guess so. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The, maybe they're like, okay, we just, we just did an alien. We yeah. just did the last cool duel. The last cool duel. Do you want to talk about the last cool duel? Yes, so. So Ridley Scott also. Uh, now, a, a while back or last week, he went on a tirade. I don't think we talked about it. We did on that We Got, we got This Covered, yep. where he does not like comic book movies. Yes. He's like, they're for losers and I don't like them and mm. kids don't like movies or something. He said specifically, I don't like comic book movies. And then everybody was like, what? And he went, oh, no. I love He it. loved them, yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of a twist there. That's great. <laughs> It was a, we all we all went along for that ride, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. Yeah, he knows how to <laughs> elicit he knows how emotion. To t- he knows how to tell a story and build tension, which yeah, I like. He does. You know? Anyway, uh, this he, he, the last they co- call him the ten cc. Is that what they call him? Film directors. Wow, which is the band that made that song. <laughs> is it? Yes, I didn't know that. Mm. But he the la- he's promoting House of Gucci. Yep. which by all accounts has a horrendous Jared Leto performance. As Gucci or Gucci? Yeah, something like that, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he's apparently just doing Super Mario like the entire time. Yeah, I've seen the stills. Yeah. <laughs> no, have you heard any of his voice? No. Let's, put, let's do some. Okay. Let's do some. A new segment, folks. Let's do some. It's the accent of the week. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-bop. Come on, House of Gucci. Right, I'll do it on my phone and then I'll be able to play it directly into the microphone. Terrific stuff. Yeah, Collins is editing this. I apologise, but here we go. You have a gift, I'm telling you. Oh, stop. Stop, you're going to make me. You're going to make me cry. Nobody has ever said that to me. Nobody. Oh, no, why don't you have your own mind? Only these are just mock-ups. I can't afford to get serious with your <laughs> He's very, uh, yeah. He's doing it, isn't he? He's very sing-song. Yeah. yeah maybe that's what Gucci or Gucci was like. Maybe he nailed it. Mm. Absolutely, exactly. I saw. I, look, again, I haven't seen the movie. I do want to see it. I'm genuinely interested. Because mm. apparently there was, there was a lot of good elements of it. And some people mm. actually do like his performance. There's a lot of murder in the history of the House of apparently Gucci. Apparently so, yeah. yeah. You know, murdering on the bloody, the bloody fashion, bloody dance floor. What's the, what's the, the wrong way? <laughs> The, fashion, <laughs> the dance. fashion dance floor. <laughs> yes. That's the stuff. Um, but it, I, I saw a criticism that was like in his movies. Yeah. It's like he's not with anybody else. Oh, he's just doing, he's his, just own doing thing. his own thing. Like his own yeah. self-contained thing, you right. know. 
And I, you know, again, I haven't seen it. Like he's decided that this is a musical, yeah. but nobody else is on board with it. Exactly. And he's trying to force it he's, by force of personality. He's trying to make it a musical. Yeah. Like he's gonna, like he, he probably, he probably leans into the director afterwards and just, he's just like, just auto tune everybody else. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Send me a copy. I want my own copy where this is. A yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good lord. Anyway, uh, Ridley Scott said this because the last duel, last mm-hmm. cool duel, tanked. I think it boils down to what we've got uh, today: uh, the audience who were brought up on these fucking cell phones. <laughs> the millennium do not ever want to be taught anything unless still you're being told on a cell phone. This is a broad stroke, but I think we're dealing with it right now with Facebook. This is a misdirect uh, that has happened when it's given the wrong kind of confidence uh, to the latest generation, (laughs) I think. The confidence to not see the last duel. I think there's a number of reasons why people didn't see it. It's obviously a pandemic. I think also like... It's a sad grey movie. It's a sad grey movie and there's like a very graphic sexual assault in it which you see three separate times and maybe people don't want to see that. Sure. I I do want to see cool duels. People want to see cool duels. They're they're torn about it. I do want to see it. They're madly and 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 brilliant at this. They're torn about it. They're torn about it. That's a cover song though. It's a little little known fact. Well, I mean, look. Mm. It's as I understand it, it's not, it's not technically like, it, it is a cover song, but it's also not a cover song because the the guy, the dude who wrote it, recorded it, yeah, and then he was like, "Do you want it? Do you want like he's, he's it's been recorded a number of times. Do anyway, you want it? Do you want it? He said, do you want, do you want this, Natalie Imbruglia? Sure, yeah, 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 I want it. Yes. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, look, I think this is he's just he's just old because it's like yeah. millennials, uh, millennials, James are, millennials, millennials, please. millennials, are, millennials, uh, they're four- normalized calling it calling us millennials. Mm, yeah, please, they're forty. Yeah. Like you're talking about grown adults who are mm. like, I don't understand a movie. I only watch my movie on my phone. And I, you know, it's mm. like, and also like. I only watch movie on phone and, and fashion dance floors. Exactly. That's all, that's all I understand. <laughs> and talking about like Facebook and shit. It's like, yeah. again, it's young dead. people, uh, young dead. people are not on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, maybe it's because it didn't appeal to a certain generation, but also it, this move, this is the kind of movie that like, like w- would appeal to older people as well. Mm. You know what I mean? Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and a and you know they're the clash and knights and whatever and it's yeah. re- revenge and intrigue and all those mm. things. That's I feel like is an older generational movie and they also didn't see it. It's not young people not seeing your Matt Damon movie. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It was a big week for like older people who've just reached the age where they don't understand things anymore. I can't wait. Uh, Br- Brian May this week was what like, did he do this week? This week Brian May guitarist for Queen, Doctor yep. Brian May. Uh, was like it's something. It was something like, oh, we couldn't. You couldn't have Queen these days. We couldn't have formed Queen because we would have been like, oh, we have to have a trans person in Queen or whatever. Lil Nas X is like one of the. Big, he's not trans, but one of the biggest musical acts in the world. Yeah, like constantly offending people for like, you know, making shoes with blood in it and whatever, and being openly gay. People are ready for these yes. kinds of things. It's not shocking, yeah. you know. What. What band is he talking about? That- I don't know. I don't know. That has to like the, the, it's part of the rules, is it? I mean, maybe one of the reasons you couldn't make Queen these days is because the charismatic frontman who wrote all his songs <laughs> is dead. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. Brian May, Doctor Brian May. I didn't. Know, I, didn't say, is- I didn't say this this week. Okay, right. What's he a doctor in? Astrophysics. Okay. Yeah. Just, oh, look, I, I'm not even, whatever. Yeah, it's not, it's, doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. They're not causing any harm. No, really, exactly. Guys. They've just, again, they've, it, they've... It's past a point and it's confusing. Grandpa it's, Simpson meme, it'll happen to you. It will. It totally will. Well, yeah, right? it's already happening. I'm not on TikTok because it seems like you have to create video yeah. content every day and I can't be bothered. You're seeing it happen to us in real time. Right? People would have seen it on this very show. You go back to the first episode, we're not the same. You, we're not even the same at the start of this episode. This <laughs> I said fashion dance floor. Right? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's us yelling at boomers. Yeah, that's a new I segment. Guess. Yeah. yeah oh, I've had go. so many new segments this week. I know, right? That thing, the thing we said before that I've already forgotten. The second thing, yeah. Robert Pattinson's funny voice, <laughs> the, the segment. The man who only remembers the previous movies. Great in. bit we thought of. <laughs> it's great. It's got, long, it's got legs, I yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What thing will he think about <laughs> movies next week? We don't know. We'll find out. We're going to trial different personas, secret personas for Robert Pattinson until we get one. Exactly. Mm. Uh, Star Wars News, Mason. Okay. <laughs> Great.
Good stuff. Why not? <laughs> this is by Empire. Kathleen Kennedy said this is about the sequel uh, characters. Mm. It says, certainly those are not characters we're going to forget. They will live on. And those are conversations that are going on with the creative team as well. I think I maybe saw someone this week. I think it might have been Mr. House of Gucci himself, Adam Driver. Yep. And he said, sure, I'd maybe come back. Yeah. <laughs> a few of them have said it. Um, I think there's rumours of a, like a Finn show and it might be a sequel mm. and a prequel where you find out about his early life. Mm. Uh, yeah. They right. should bring back Adam Driver. They shouldn't have killed him like that. It's like it was an interesting character. Yeah. I don't want to talk about Rise of Skywalker. Okay. But no, I think that I think those characters and whatever you think of uh, those movies, mm. and we've talked them to death. I think they are endearing characters. A lot of them, so, endearing or enduring, both. Both. Whoa. Yeah, and maybe, but I think also maybe you want to give it some time, sure, because you know let people miss them and mm. you know find like with the Obi Wan series, you find out what sticks, you find out what people want to see, and then you whatever. Mm. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, other news, uh, Rangers of the New Republic. You remember that series that no. Gina Carano was going to head up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like a bunch of Rangers of the... The B-team. Yeah, sure. the B-team. <laughs> the, the supporting cast members that don't have their own show yet, let's put in them a, up. Put in Bill Burr. Put, put them in, in a van. Weather. Exactly. Put them in that flying van from Spaceballs. <laughs> exactly. And they can fly around and battle evil or whatever. Battle Pizza, battle pizza the Hutt and yes. all those things. Uh, she said, we've never written any scripts or anything like that. Some of, uh, some of that will figure into future episodes, I'm sure, of Mandalorian. So it's not, ha- it's not happening, okay. which makes sense because it was going to be a Gina Carano-focused series. Mm-hmm. She obviously left in a be- very public manner. There was a mm-hmm. public dispute about what can and cannot be said. That's very true. And they parted as great friends. That's right. And now here we are. And they're going to work them into a different. Anyway, it's another Disney. They're going to work them into an early grave. Yeah, that's right. Another Full content. Another Disney Star Wars thing. Just kick some dirt on it. <laughs> kick sure. some dirt over the top of it. Yeah, nice. And, and move forward. Yeah. Mm. We're sorry to all G.I. Joe fans out there. Um, <laughs> we hate to do this to you again. Mm. People have been, look, we will do Snake Eyes next week. Yes, Snake definitely. Eyes Origins. It's on the agenda. We've put it on the whiteboard. Yep. Yeah. It's coming up, you know. It's not something we want to, to skip out on. No, that's it? true. It's a, yeah. it's a disservice to the the IP yep. of, uh, of, of Hasbro's G.I. Joe. I yeah. Think. Exactly. And we're not here to brand slam, are we, yeah. Mason? We're not. I mean, you know, DMC mm-hmm. of the of the, of the uh, hip-hop group Run DMC did not go on like the, the most recent Hasbro Pulse yeah. uh, convention situation and did a rap about how much he loves Hasbro mm-hmm. for us to not cover a Hasbro product on this podcast. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty certain I saw it. <laughs> yeah. And look, and it seems like also they're probably getting enough publicity this week if that happened. Mm. You know, they've already gone viral. Do they need us at this point to promote yeah. G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Origins? Joe Snake Eyes. No, if anything, if anything, we'd probably bring them down. Yeah. You know? And that's not what we want. No, we want to give it some breathing room. Mm. Anyway, so we are going to talk about Venom 2 Carnage Gonna Carnage this week. That's right. Uh, the sequel to the very successful Venom from, let's say, 2018. Sure. Might not be, though. The past, the before times. Yes. Back I, when. Movies were movies. Movies were movies. And men were men. Men were men. <laughs> the last one. These days you couldn't make a Venom movie without a trans person. That's so true. Yeah. Uh, the last oh, one. Just to, just to go back briefly, um, also I, I, uh, I'm aware that um, Freddie Mercury didn't write all the Queen songs. Don't yeah, at sure. me. Don't at me, folks. Me? Yeah, don't you do it. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. I mean, but he hasn't. But how many Queen songs have been written that you know since his passing? Oh, zero. That's zero, right. Zero, zero is the correct answer. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's on you because you're not <laughs> keeping up with their discography. Mm. Yeah. What about Queen Rap featuring Adam Lambert? That's a good one. I've made it up. It's not real. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> 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 I was like, do I double down on this thing that isn't real? Nah, I'm going to let that one go. Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> Just another character I have to commit to. Yeah. That's, no. The character of Guy, uh, it doesn't even matter. I'm not even going to give him a name, this guy. Just know he exists and he's nameless Yeah, it and is, shameless. He's in, a, he's in an offshoot dimension. Mm. And speaking of, the original Venom made $856 million at the box office. That's a lot of money. Somehow. This one off a budget of about $110 million made 456 which is a very good return, mm. again, considering the year, et cetera, and so forth. Mm. Uh, what do you think the story was? Oh, okay, Venom. Yep. Venom, he came to Earth in the last Venom. one, didn't he? Yep. Or maybe he was already on Earth. 
And he and he and he bonded with. Uh, I didn't rewatch First Venom. No, neither did I. Yeah. And he bonded with uh, a miss, uh, one Mister Edward Brock. Yeah. Ah, uh, and they don't get along, but they do get along. Edward Brockalock. Edward Broccoli, mm-hmm. heir to the Broccoli family fortune. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not the Broccoli family you're thinking of. No, that's a different family. Yeah. 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 Sorry, go on. Uh, but this, and, then, and then they had to fight a different Venom last time yep. in the previous movie. There was another Venom and he's like, I get you, Venom, for reasons I'm mad at you. We're all going to fly up to this comet that has Venoms on it. That's right. And and get we're going to bring the comet to Earth maybe and cover the planet in Venoms. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this time there's a different Venom. Is there? Another redder Venom. A redder Venom. <laughs> mm. That's right. Uh, you're absolutely right. Mm. Um, should we just do spoilers? Have people seen this? Does it matter? No, let's, so- we can we can non-spoiler this for a minute, okay. I think. All right. Uh, this is directed by Andy Serkis. Yeah, I'm a big fan, to be honest. Mm. Big fan in general, but I um, was very much just like... Okay. What else has he directed? Uh, that Jungle Serkis. Book movie I like. Oh, yeah. He, dire- yeah, he directed yeah, yeah. a lot of, like, second unit stuff on The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies. Mm. Like, he's a pioneer of, like, mocap. He's worked on video games as well, obviously. That's true, yeah. I think he's wonderful. He's, he's claw yeah. in, uh, in the... In the Marvel it's Cinematic terrific. Universe, yeah. It terrific. feels like they cut down this from something else, though. Yeah. Like, it's very short. My f- my feeling was, th- I came out of this, and my initial thought was, well, they tried. It feels like okay. they tried yeah. to make something here that what was What do you good. mean by what? I don't know. It feels like they didn't just, it, it felt like they... The felt, pe- I, liked, I liked it more than the other yeah, one. Yeah, I feel I feel like they 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 didn't just go. Ah, oh, we got to do a sequel, Cash Cow, whatever. This is we'll just we'll just knock it out. It felt yeah. like everybody involved, like the cast and the director, they tried, but it just was not impressive or anything. Is this movie anything, James? Do no, you think it's I, anything? I think you're absolutely right because a lot like a lot of this, I think, uh, rests also on um, Tom Hardy is genuinely just going for it. Mm. I think the the relationship between him and the Venom symbiote is is fun and good and you know it's the they fall out of love and you know they fight sure, yeah. and they you know it's a real they, bromance. They yeah, I think it's like I think it's pretty interesting and a unique. A symbiomance. Yeah, is and, what it is. And I like how like they live together and he's just so grimy and sweaty all the time and they really lean into that. There's a moment where he comes out of the bathroom in his house and he just blows his nose on a hand towel yeah, and keeps just, walking. Yeah, he's just a grub this he's guy. He's just an absolute grot. Uh, he can do it with the limitless pill as far as he, I'm concerned. He seems that way. He lo- definitely looks pre-limitless pill at all mm. moments of this movie. Yeah, um, boy. Yeah. Uh, this movie. This, this movie. movie. Yeah. Also, like, um, we'll talk about the universes and merging because sure, yeah, yeah. Venom might be showing up in other things yeah, yeah, and whatever, yeah, yeah. which we'll get into. But I think also they the, the idea of them working together to do some investigation stuff because at the start of the movie, Eddie Brock is a bit down his luck. And he's the only one who has access to Cletus Cassidy. Mm. And so Venom uses his, like, photographic memory mm. to work together to get the information about where Cletus Cassidy buried all the bodies. Mm. And I like that, that they kind of bring different skills to sure. this, you know, like a little buddy cop kind of situation. But also, I would argue, and we can talk about this more in spoilers, seems like Venom just has whatever powers he needs well, to do a thing. Well, that is true, yeah. You know? He can draw and he can draw from memory and... A, th- a thing from... Later, we'll a talk thing about. from later that we can uh, talk about. But I, I also like that you know, as mentioned, they go through the motions of like, <laughs> they go, for, what a great sign. Yeah, like no, I mean, motions. like of like friendship and a relationship where they they fight and they break up and mm-hmm. and they realize they kiss, they, they, make they, kiss up. they make up and they realize they you know they need each other and all those things. But the, I guess the question that was on all of our minds and the top of our domes is what is going on with Woody Harrison's wig this time around? <laughs> People didn't like the wig last time. And this uh... big sideshow Bob wig that he had, yeah. which I guess he also must have had just briefly in that movie because we get a flashback to the 90s when mm. uh, a young Eddie Brock. Who is uh, who is played by another actor but has Woody Harrelson's voice. Yeah, and he must be. I mean, if you went by the age that Woody Harrelson is, he'd be at least 35. Mm. But I guess he's a teen in a... Asylum of sorts with a with a with a voice of a man the, in his fifties, probably. Yeah. yeah, and then I think he's older than that. And oh. then, um, well, he looks great. He does look great, but then he he has like his normal red hair, and then he must get the sideshow bob hair, and then he goes back, back to, to the normal. He's just hair, trying yeah. to look. I yeah, guess. Yeah, 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 Maybe yeah. they already tried to execute him, and it didn't take. Just, just <laughs> they gave him the chair his, and it fried his hair. Fried his hair. Yeah. Let me it should check have been the tagline, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. the chair, but only Friday's hair. Yeah. And let me check. He's 60. So there you go. There you He's go. 60. He does look good for 60. 
Um, but yeah, what, what else are we? What, what else are we doing here? Uh, uh, we, we got some. We got some supporting characters. We got uh, Naomi Harris. This is not the. This is not the best Naomi Harris movie uh, I've seen this month. No, absolutely not. I also think that like you could have had Naomi Harris in the flashback. It would have been fine, I think. Yeah. Because they didn't really seem that different in age, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's got inexplicable uh, shriek powers. That's fun. Yeah, she's shriek. How does that go in the comics? If um. She gets a symbiote as well in the comics, doesn't she? I believe. I don't know. I think she I does. Couldn't, I yeah. couldn't answer that for you. Because I don't like sound yeah, yeah. and whatever. But again, like they, they tie it in. So so the, the police detective who uh, Eddie Brock is helping on the on this Cletus Cassidy case. Who might have been in the first movie. Was he? I don't know. Okay, great. Let me check. Um, <laughs> Let me check. Happy this, James, it. this is probably not even the best movie that features two actors who've both played the role of Al Capone in something. Wow, that's because, a really big deal. I check because Stephen, Stephen Graham, Graham, who, who yeah. plays he's uh, great. He's the police detective in this, and he is, has d- done many things, but he was Al Capone in uh, Boardwalk Empire. Yep. He was also, he's he's Tommy in the movie Snatch, the guy Richie movie yes. Snatch. Uh, I ch- I'm like, there's no way that Tom Hardy and Stephen Graham have not been in a thing together. They have. They were in a TV series called Taboo. Okay. About the fun party game. Now that's fun. Is it uh, really? No, it's about. Uh, it's, so it's it's a it's Atticus. a it's a TV series created by Tom Hardy and Tom Hardy's dad. Oh. Dad Hardy. Dad Hardy. Ed Hardy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Didn't that brand like implode? Yeah. And somebody's awful or something. I don't know. Anyway. I, uh, that's going to come up later. Okay. Good. In, uh, in what we're in. Oh, great. Terrific. Um. Yeah, they're in a TV series called Taboo. It's about a man in the. I think the 19th century who he comes back from South Africa with a bunch of diamonds that he's acquired, like okay. a, a secret diamonds. Oh. They should have called it secret diamonds. Secret diamonds. But anyway, time. they're both in that. Okay. Both in that show. So. And uh, apparently it's all right. It's apparently it's a bit of a slow burn. All right. Yeah, so there you go. Didn't have time to check it out, but maybe I will. Maybe you will. They're both in it. They're fun. Good, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. He's good, like, you got to help me with this investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that, that lady who was in the first one is old Michelle Williams. Michelle she's Williams also, is in she's it. back in this and one. And her fiancé who's maybe in the first one. Yeah, I don't know. I think he is, maybe. I think she's got a boyfriend in that movie. Yeah, maybe. But I couldn't tell you. Yeah. He was actually all right. I didn't is he the him. guy from Superstore or is he a different guy? He's a different guy, but I know why you're saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That He's got a guy from Superstore vibes. He's got that face, doesn't he? He does have that He's face. He's got that same yeah. face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, look. I also like, Go I on. guess if, um, if, if I'm going to take a moment between yes. a pause while I think of anything to say about this, mm. that he just openly talks to himself in front of people now. Like no yeah. one can hear Venom. Yeah. So he'll just be like, he'll just chat away and people are like, what? And he's like, don't worry about I it. Thought th- I, <laughs> some of, I think some of that was kind of fun. Like there's a fun bit where he's going to visit Cletus in prison yep. and he says something awful. Which moment? Because he does it multiple times. He does it times. multiple times, but he's, he's being inducted into the prison and he says something weird and the, the prison guard says, what did you say? And he says, I don't know why I said that. I think I'm just having a panic attack. And I yeah. thought that was a funny bit. Uh, also in this, Carnage has his own, like Cletus. Got his own. Oh, I should find out the voice for that, actually. Is it not just? It's probably because he... Tom Hardy does the Venom voice yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure Carnage in the comics and uh, Cletus are. Like, they're not depicted as separate individuals. I don't think they are, I don't think yeah. you ever see... I think he's all carnage. Yeah, I don't think you ever see Cletus's internal monologue and that they're separate, but in this, they speak to each other in the same way that Eddie and, and Venom do. Yes. Which is a little departure, I think. Uh, uh, Harrison was initially reluctant to provide the voice for Carnage and wanted Circus to, in se- for Circus to perform instead, but Circus encouraged him to find his own right tone. He was ultimately satisfied with how it came out. Good so on. there you go. Right. Good. Great. How do you feel about the action in this movie, James? Look, I, it's less spaghetti monsters. Mm. It's more like you see the punching and the stabbing and the whatever. It's completely bloodless uh, because that's what these movies. There are. is a scene in this in this in this movie which I guess I won't I won't give away the specifics of it. But there is a moment where I'm like, did he did 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 Carnage eat a guy's head or did he not eat a guy's head? Because we don't see it on screen. We do see some eating of heads though. That's def- definitely right. Maybe, but I think they definitely. I think they limited it for yeah. because it's it's PG thirteen in the US. And you want maximum B I M, bim. Yeah, bums in movies. Oh, <laughs> as in seats. I should have said bis. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want maximum bums in movie, you should watch the Get Smart movie, The Nude Bomb. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I've seen it. Is it good? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> So a long time ago. But you have seen it. I've seen there's there's two 
There's two uh, Get Smart Telly movies, the yeah. Nerd Bomb and, uh, and Get Smart Again, one of which features a chase sequence where uh, Maxwell Smart is driving a desk. It's very <laughs> funny. I loved it as a kid. He's, he, he drives it because he's the head of the yeah, CIA yeah, yeah. or whatever and at, in this, at this point. He's got a desk. It's got, he, he is drives, the chief real life dead at that point? I think he might he be, yeah. Down? yeah. But he's got a he's – imagine a James Bond chase sequence including like the cars filled with guns and missiles or whatever, but it's a desk. <laughs> that is fun. Yeah. Let's do spoilers. Okay. Wait. Best movie ever or worst movie ever? Oh, I mean – I'm gonna to have to go with worst movie ever. It's not. It's not. Again, it's not. It doesn't. None of it thrilled me in a way. No, like it's it didn't really. It did, I don't think it was enough of an advance on the first one. Yeah. Beyond that, like I think the relationship between Eddie and Venom is a little bit. Yeah, better. I think. I, I think it's probably better than the first one. I but think, it still feels like weird and dingy and yeah. cramped. And the the thing what I was gonna say about the action sequences is it's all a bit vague. Yeah. Like who can do what? What are their powers? So, so Venom's. So the, the thing about I'm going to say worst also, and, and yeah. as, as we've mentioned in like previous episodes, I think probably like the thing about Venom or the symbiotes, they have this sort of extra dimensional ability, yeah. where like they could open up a hole in their body, like the, just a hole in their chest, and something could go straight through it, yeah, and like and not harm the person underneath. It, like it, it if you're inside a Venom, if you're inside a symbiote, Venom. sort of the laws of physics don't apply to your body, kind yeah. of thing. But it's never really explained, and it's never explained why Venom and Carnage, why they can hurt each other or not hurt each yeah, other. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Like if, if – You can stab one exactly, and that. Like if Carnage chopped off Venom's head, would it kill them both or would it not kill them both? Because there's both se- – there are sequences where like clearly Carnage like shoots a big red spear right through Venom's chest. Yeah, and he's like – And they're uh, both fine. Yeah. Why? Like, <laughs> and I know the answer is comic book physics, but I think if you are attempting to build tension in this sort of movie, you should explain why some of these things are lethal and some are not lethal. Otherwise, it is just two different coloured octopuses yeah. <laughs> like slapping each other. It doesn't, you know what I mean? I know completely what you mean, but I do. Th- I do also think it's better than the like they they were just like spaghetti monsters in the yeah, last yeah. one. It was just goo rolling on top yeah, of each other. But I think there should be, and again, like as as sorry, I was just looking up. I was trying to, that doesn't matter what I was looking at. I was going to say, like, like we are, you know, we are across the idea of, but I think just even like, uh, you know, we're we're pretty resilient, but if he cuts our head off, we're dead or whatever. Yeah. Like, give that us, so then we know when, you know, Carnage is coming at him with a big blade near his neck, we know to feel attention news. and go, that's bad news. But otherwise it's just which of these hits are, are, are damaging and which aren't. It doesn't make any that's sense. That's a good point. Mm. Um, I think also I, I um, if I'm doing a positive, yes, go on. I think Carnage often looks worse in scenes because he's redder and brighter. Okay, but I think in general the design is good and he's kind of got that Resident Evil monster like rotting corpse kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rot- rotting thing. tentacle corpse. Yeah, and sure. I think that's an interesting choice because in the comics you don't really get. Like yeah. they do have a distinct look, and how do you translate that? Yeah, visually, and I think it works. In, like he does, Carnage. Is 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 more distinct than the previous Venom enemy, which is again, which is just black slime. They've gone with yep. sort of a more, like you said, like that Resident Evil kind of slimy muscle. Like it's a, yeah. it's like a, he's like a skinless corpse yeah. kind of thing. Exactly. Uh, and he, he again, he looks like he looks like more oozing organs as opposed to just an oil slick, which I think yeah, it's good. It's a pretty good, pretty solid design. But again, I just. Do you like how Venom went on a little rave? I do, but I yeah, but I also and it's also this idea of like. They just want to kill each other for yeah for re- for reasons because he told it's all his a bit sec- vague. he told his secret yeah but you, you got gonna, new, but you were gonna tell the and secret. and then he got a new motorbike yeah was he gonna tell his secret though really oh I don't know yeah I don't know either mm. um sexy lady venom is back yep sure briefly sure the fans demanded it mm-hmm. uh okay next right. thing there's a speech where Cletus, oh we're in spoilers now yeah we already did it I think. okay right Great. Cletus is like we're the same. Me and you. We both accept yeah, our okay, own show sure, for sure, sure, Yes, sure. yes, yes. Um, He's like, I want to be you're, – you're going to be the one that tells my story. Yeah. Why? Why? Why you? Where why this guy? Why this loser? We're the same. Oh, because we're the same. Okay. How did you know he was the same? Yeah. Because this – like Eddie Brock is pretty under the radar. How did you even know he existed? Great question. Well, he used to be a newsman. Oh. Didn't he used to be a reporter? I oh, used to be on TV. Okay, right, or right, something. right. Okay, maybe he's – okay. Um, there's a moment where Venom says, we are the lethal protector. Oh, he says it a bunch of times. And yeah. that's from comics. That's what he's called sometimes because you can't be like, we are the wanton murderer. <laughs> we, just mur- we eat people's brains. 
Uh, there's a there's a moment where he um, they have a connection at the end with him and uh, Cletus Cassidy, yes. and then he just eats his head, and Venom's like, "Fuck that guy," or whatever. Yeah. Um, I thought that was you know interesting and surprising, but it's also like he's done, is he? Seems that way. Like that. Although I guess they could do it similarly they did in the comic in the comics where the Cletus Cassidy body is dead, but Venom just reanimate uh, Carnage just reanimates him. Yeah. I guess. And you know, just because Venom ate Carnage. Doesn't mean that he can't. Doesn't mean he can't come back. Maybe maybe he'll poop him out and he can poop he'll come out. back to life. That'd be terrific. And in and in the third one, Venom three, death means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we can do, do whatever we want. We're definitely going to get there. Um. So yeah, and Patrick Mulligan becomes Toxin, who's um. Oh the yeah, cop. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his eyes, and I'm like, who's that? Oh, it's Toxin. That's right. Yes. Great. Wasn't Toxin in the last one? I don't know. I don't. Riz Ahmed was one of them, wasn't he? Mm. Uh, so the universe I wanted to ask you about, and uh, this is this is in the post credits. Now I did an ad for Venom too. People might have even heard this in this very episode. Interesting. It's been, but they were very specific, and maybe I mentioned this in something else we recorded. Okay. I think I have. I've at least told you, but they were very specific not to say, do not say Marvel, do not say MCU. Say like exciting universes merging and whatever, and okay, wider, sure. wider comic book, blah blah blah. But yeah, do great. not say. Marvel, Marvel or MCU. Okay, even though this movie is in the dreaded in yeah. association with Marvel. Exactly. That stamp of approval. Mm. More, more Marvel like- couldn't stop us from making this. <laughs> That's what it should say. Because we made the contract decades ago and, and we they, will not give this they up. can't get out of it now. Yeah. Come hell or high water. They'll have to kill us first <laughs> in association with Marvel. But so and there was also like half of the ad copy was like Push the post credits, and really? it's only like the three thing we lines. can't talk about. Yeah, and which is also like that's how you're selling it, yeah, like a wild. thing that you could look up on YouTube, you know, which has yeah. been on YouTube for months now at this point because right. you know someone filmed it in a cinema and, oh, nice. and whatever. But um, I mean, no, go to jail as far as I'm concerned. That's right. Anyways, the universe has merged in the end. Maybe it's got something to do with probably no way or, home, or he. Transported. So that, what, what I was alluding to earlier is that yeah. one, of, one of Venom's inexplicable powers in this is that you can connect to the symbiote hive mind. Yep. Uh, and and in doing so, at the end of this movie, he transports, Venom transports himself and Eddie Brock into to, to the, the, to the, the main MCU or, or like you said, maybe the universes merge or something like that. Yeah. And, and Venom's like, what's happening? I don't understand what. So this will happen once and ever again probably. And then... <laughs> So, and it, but it was a bit vague because Venom and Eddie Brock go from one sort of hotel room yep. on, that might be on the beach to another ho- a slightly different hotel room on a slightly it was different cleaner beach. cleaner and nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, which suggests that the MCU is cleaner and nicer, I guess. Well, this it is. is a, ver- I was going to, this universe sucks, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It's gross. It's gross it's and it's grimy. And like, is it the more. Maybe that him, see, that's, it's interesting. So is, so is Eddie Brock's blowing his nose on his, on his shower towel, his bathroom towel. Is that considered the norm in this universe? I, maybe like, it is. Maybe we cut to like Michelle Williams' character's apartment <laughs> and she's in there, she's getting out of the shower, she's like just walking out her nose on a bath towel. Like, that's not what she's mad about with Eddie Brock. <laughs> well, and then I guess if, if we're talking about Morbius, which we always are, yeah. But Morbius also in the Morbius trailer was like, "I'm Venom." Like, is he in the Venom universe, yeah. or is now again? How does he know about Venom? Well, is is he in the mainline MCU universe also? Because Vulture's in that universe because they meet up in the trailer. Mm. Or is, or I is, reckon that's going to be cut out in the movie. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah. Also, like Stan Lee is on a magazine. It just says Stan Lee in what? In, where? in oh, Venom. In, oh, in Venom, which is he? means that like the it, first Venom, no, this one, Venom Two. Sorry, yeah, it's in the shop of the woman he knows. Oh, so it says Stan Lee, which means that Stan Lee exists as an as a person who invented Marvel characters in this universe, mm, but no, I guess not in the MCU. Maybe, but yeah. there are Marvel characters in this Stan Lee universe, yeah. but not the ones that Stan Lee invented. I guess. Maybe. Maybe in this universe he invented all the characters from the 60s. Yeah. But not Venom. Not Venom. Because that was Todd McFarlane probably. That was probably, probably Todd McFarlane. Mm. So, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> okay, so we, have, we, we haven't even finished talking about the post credit sequence. Oh, yeah. Is there also another credits, post credit sequence? I don't is think there, there is. Thing? Okay. If there is, I, I didn't see it. Right. I'm pretty sure there's not. Um, I'm pretty sure I gave it a goose. So, anyway, they appear in this new universe and the TV is on. Oh, yes. And we get a little clip of J.K. Simmons Revealing the thing that he revealed at the end of uh, Spider-Man, Far From Home. Which means that must have just happened, yeah. I guess. And he's like, uh, this, this Spider-Man, he's a menace and he's Peter Parker. And then it just cuts to like, 
Just a shot of Peter Parker without his standing mask there. on. Just standing and looking in various directions. Is that when he gets arrested? In, when? Because, you know, in the site trailer you see him get chased oh, by cops right, and right, then he gets yeah, arrested maybe, or whatever. I guess so. Yeah. It just looked like a camera test or something. It certainly did. Why are you taking your mask off? Yeah. And then Venom's just like, ooh, I like this guy, and he yeah. looks the screen. Why? Why do you like this guy? He's just a guy. He's just a guy. As far as you know. He's, he's got, in this universe, he's got nothing to do with your origin story. Like, yep. Why do you like or dislike him in any way? Just a man in a in a onesie? <laughs> All right. Guess you like men in... Good. <laughs> that Terrific. is good. That is good, I think, yeah. Yeah, so I, I wonder how much of this, like how much he's going to stick. Excuse the pun, Mason. Mm, is that a pun? I don't know. Okay, great. No, not really. Okay. Spider's stick. He's got the web. Oh, I guess. yeah, nice. Is that a pun? Yeah. It's a pun, everybody. Okay. Official pun alert. Nice. That's the pun button. <laughs> I never used the, the... You don't know. We should label deck. those buttons or we should put other stuff on the buttons. Can just, you change the things yeah, that are on? Yeah, I think you yet? can. I can just put question marks on all of them. Is that better? Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah, look, um, how much? I don't know how much of this they're just going to throw away and what they're going to do with Venom. I think they're going to do a Spider-Man Venom movie and they'll yeah. do the black suit and they're going to do all of that, but it just depends on in what order, I guess, and, yeah. and, and how much is Marvel. and Because, like, honestly, the Sony stuff, the Sony live-action stuff outside of just the mainline Spider-Man movies, which I guess is just these two Venom movies mm. and the upcoming Morbius, yes. I'm just not feeling any of this. Great, yes. You know? Yeah, it feels like the bad old days of superhero movies. It movie, does. Where it's like, this is a real shot in the dark as whether whether I'm going to enjoy this or it not. It feels like Blade 3. Like, it's that got that kind of vibe, you know? Yuck. 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 Blade 3 is all right, I guess. Got a couple of reviews here. This one's from Michael who says, went to see Bond and Venom 2 yesterday. Based on Mr. Sunday Movie's best movie ever, worst movie ever rating system, I give them both, it was just a movie. Wow. And T-Horn says, what a pointless movie and goodbye to the two characters that were marginally interesting. Worst movie ever. <laughs> so there you go. So the, the characters that were marginally interesting were Carnage and... And Carnage's friend. Carnage's friend, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. And that might be true, yeah. but I don't know. And I've never thought about it. Mm. And I won't think about it. Anyway, look Remember for... when he went to the club and everybody's in costumes? Yeah, I mentioned like, that, nice, didn't nice I? Nice costumes. Did I mention that? Yeah, you did. He's clearly not in a costume. He's like <laughs> nine feet tall. <laughs> Remember the bit when Cletus is like, uh, ooh, I'm going to get in this car, this car that I've found randomly. And then Naomi Harris's character's like, this oh, is my favourite car. car, my favourite car. And he's like, yeah, babe. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice, babe. <laughs> Should we do the next segment of the show? Let's do it. Oh, man. I hate talking about Venom too. Because I don't have any, what do you say? Right? It's like a stiff breeze. I'm going to check very briefly. I'm just going to check the, the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. For? To see if any, anybody has any opinions on Venom. <laughs> I don't think anybody will, Mason. Venom. I'm Venom and my name is Venom. Where do I live, Venom? I blew my nose on this towel. I'm Venom. Mm. Where am I going when I'm Venom. Something, 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 I'm Venom. I'm having chocolate because it's in the comics. I'm mm. Venom. I'm not funny enough to be a comedy. This action is whatever. Wow, it's the, it's the, <laughs> it's the cabaret of superhero movies. It's not, good enough, it's not a good enough action movie to be a... a it's, the action's not good enough to be a full-fledged action movie. The comedy's not good enough for it to be an actual comedy. That's a shame. You got any arguments against that? Nope. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, this work we're going to do our segment. What we read? Oh, you didn't read. find anything? No. Oh, no. I thought you were going to check the group. Yeah, no. It's, it's you know results are middling. Okay. Opinions are, are mixed, but middling. I wow, think. that's great to hear. Yeah. Good to hear we're on brand. When you say it's on streaming now or soon to be on streaming, like like you can just watch you can it, for VOD nothing. it or whatever. Ah, oh, so like twelve ninety nine or yeah, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, right. All right, here we go. I'm doing the theme. Westworld! Yeah, you did it, James. Mason! Hello. What are we doing this week for, oh my God. for what we're reading? You Great. mentioned something that uh, you teased. Oh, well, you uh, said Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy. I did say Ed and Hardy. And this is sort of tangentially related. Uh, every, everybody this week is watching a three-part documentary called Get Back, The History of the Beatles, or whatever that is. The Beatles, they're recording an album. And so isn't it a re-edit of that movie as well, or whatever they Maybe, released? Maybe, but yeah. I didn't watch that. Uh. I didn't have time, but instead I watched... This is on, it's on it's on Hulu in the States and it's on Amazon here. Oh. Uh, it's called The Curse of Von Dutch, A Brand to Die For. And it's a documentary. It's a three-part documentary about the history of the, the brand of Von Dutch. Do you remember Von Dutch? Of course I the do. The iconic foam trucker hat. 
are a sprawling three-part documentary series chronicling the tumultuous and some say cursed rise and fall of the Von Dutch fashion brand, a cocaine kingpin from Venice Beach, and a gangster surfer from Santa Cruz set out to launch a classic Americana fashion brand inspired by the father of hot rod culture, Kenneth the Von Dutch Howard. I good. admit those hats were very briefly everywhere. Yeah, that, that was, yeah it was like... Very expensive. At one point they were doing like $150 million a year in sales. That's too much. Dutch. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating. It's a very... Very well done documentary. And is it still a brand? I guess they get into it. Uh, I imagine it's still a brand on paper somewhere, but if you, when was the last time you saw? Uh, uh, well, I haven't been to a, a club in a while, Mason. I was going to say a shop, but you haven't been to a shop. I haven't been to a shop or a club. That's true, yes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're, maybe they're, maybe I, this. I haven't been to a fashion dance floor in a long time. That's very true. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is the start of a rebrand. Maybe, I don't know. Could be. Yeah, I yeah. always thought they're. Their clothes and hats look like shit, though. Even at the time? Yeah, just like weird, ornate fucking, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. That's not the yeah, right yeah, word. Right. But just like, and they're really expensive and you saw like a like a 44-year-old man squeeze. Oh, yeah, a, definitely, yeah. Squeeze into a dumb T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, I, I guess the difference between a, like the, if, if you want to see if something is like an enduring classic. I don't. No, I know you don't. Um, <laughs> but I think. If you want to see something is like, if you want to know if something is like too fashiony, yeah. you have to take it away from like young, attractive person yep. who it looks good on because you can just wear anything at a certain age sure. and put it on a man in their forties and be like, is, does this man look like a massive fashion victim? <laughs> you know, that, That's a great benchmark. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm coming into that age, that's very interesting. All right, my life is about to get a whole lot worse. <laughs> You better believe it. Uh, I, I also watched a couple of other things, but um, oh, yeah. what, do you, what do you got? I'm watching F is for Family. It's the final season. It's a Bill Burr animated uh, comedy, which is kind of loosely based on his life, I guess, yeah. in like the late 70s. I'm, I'm way behind on that, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, I watched the first couple of seasons. They're very I funny. like it a lot. It's just, real... a, just a man who's on the verge of oh, – he plays – so, so he, he voices what I guess is his dad in that yeah. era, and he, he, just a man on the verge of melting down at all times. Yeah. It's just – and I think it's been like I, it's been going since 2015, which kind of blew yeah. my mind. Uh, it's it's like pretty consistently good. Um, I think there's a lot of like whatever you know Netflix animated shows. There was Hoops, which I tried for an episode. I'm like, uh-huh. I had Jake Johnson. And I'm like, oh yeah, uh-huh. but I couldn't really get into those. It was others. animated. It was animated, yeah. Interesting. A few others that I I couldn't quite get on board. But I've always always liked um, F is for Family. I mean, it's a bit non PC, and you could never make it these days. That's true. Despite it being a show that is currently on. That's you couldn't. Uh, do it I mean, they've they've stopped it, so it is the final season, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, yeah. it's kind of a shame because I couldn't make it again, though, because people would be like, "Are you just making F is for Family again? <laughs> we can't afford Bill Burr because he's just done four seasons of F is for Family. You cannot it's do right, this to us. I think on I. Uh, six seasons, I believe, but five right. or six. Anyway, there you go. Anything else you're yes, bloody a few, doing? Couple, couple more things. Okay. Uh, I did watch the first few episodes of, speaking of Netflix, oh. Cowboy Bebop, the live action. Oh, how did you go with that? Because I've also heard people like, actually, this is pretty close I and good. I thought it was fun. Yeah, there you um, go. Again, I'm, I'm someone who came to the anime a couple of months ago. I think maybe I mentioned it on the podcast. You did mention so it, So I yes. do not have the reverence for the original series that other people You also do. said it was a little bit cringe, I believe, the anime. Did I? Yeah, you were did like, because it's, yeah. I said it was a bit jazz. Oh, I don't think you said that. <laughs> okay. You said cringe, Mason. Whoa. Um, but I I think it's fun. I think the leads are very charismatic. I yeah. think the the actor whose name I cannot recall that I should look up, who plays Jet Black, yeah. like uh, uh, John Cho's kind of, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're teammates on this ship yep, doing yep, cowboy yep. stuff. I think he's I think he he is dead on. But I think all the other two are sort of quite charismatic. And uh, I think the I think the action's pretty good and there's uh, you know the looks the, expensive. The setting is is looks good and expensive. I don't know, it's pretty fun. Okay. I like it. So, I like the you So know. I should check it out. I think you should check Do it I out. Do I need to watch Did you watch all of Cowboy Bebop? No. How, how many Cowboy Bebop are there? Of the of the animated? Yeah. I watched the first half of the there's there's one season and there's a movie. So okay. I watched the first half of the season because I bought the Blu-ray which they've separated into two. <laughs> two halves of one season. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it so it sounds like you really... And then it, then it showed up on Netflix. Like sounds like you really committed to this thing. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll check it out. I'll and, probably watch. And one Maybe more thing. So in previous in a previous episode, I think we talked about various genres that are maybe dead or come back. Oh, yes, we did that last week, I believe. And we did mention the pirate genre because, of course, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, yes, yes. So on the Planet Bro- Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group, uh, Donal Story suggested... A TV series called Black Sails. Oh, I've heard of Black Sails. Yeah, I watched a few episodes of that. And it's good. It's um, I mean, it's it's. It, I think it went for four seasons. So it's as much as we make fun of streaming. I think it's fascinating that I can go. I'd like to watch some more pirate stuff. Yeah, and then there's just four seasons of a like this beautifully produced 
pirate show with famous people in it and yeah. just like, oh, there we go. My, my wish has been made reality. Just, it's fine. Just yeah. immediately. Um, it's essentially, the, the first season at least is essentially a, a, um, a prequel to Treasure Island. Because it's, oh, okay. it's got Long John Silver and it's got Captain uh, Flint and, and et cetera. Oh, that's fun. It. Uh, so It's obviously like fictional and whatevs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not um, like a Vikings where it's supposed to be like a No, it's all, it's, 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 yeah, it's, they're, they're, they're searching for the mythical treasure. And I don't know if. In Is there the, magical elements to it? No. Oh. So. Um, so it's like Vikings sort of. Yeah. But I, and I don't know if in subsequent seasons it just not. becomes Treasure Island. Yeah. Because it, it certainly could because that's out of copyright. And you know it will because the Muppets will turn up. <laughs> oh, they are all Muppets. All these characters are Muppets. <laughs> uh, it's it's good fun. It's got um, it's got Gustav Graves from uh, Die Oh, wow. Day. He's in. Oh, I was thinking um, from Breaking Bad. I'm like, he's in uh, everything. Okay. But that's not the character's name. No. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, and it's got uh, Tom Hopper from. The Umbrella Academy. Oh yeah, okay. And it's also got. A, Has it got a space hopper? No, not so far. But ah, I mean, who knows what's in that? It's treasure. a prequel, exactly. Um, and it's got, among other people, it's got a guy who looks so much like the late Michael Hutchins from the from the band, band in, in, Ex- Excess. in Excess that I'm like. This there's no way this guy has not been in a biopic where he plays Michael Hutchins from In Excess, and he has. So. <laughs> was, was it the Australian one they did a few years ago? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, cool. Oh, Ollie's back. Hey, Hello, Ollie. Wow, what an absolute joy. Okay, what's that on again? Did you say it's on uh, in America? It's on something stars probably, and in Australia, it's on Stan. Excellent. Okay, cool. That's good that um they did make a like a different pirate thing, yeah. isn't it? There you go. Uh, anything else you're reading? Listen no, I think that's it. about it. I think it's probably time to do the next segment of the show, oh. if you don't mind. Letters. 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 The classic one was letters. letters. Oh, letters. We love you. Letters. Some letters. They're only a take away. You know, they're here right now. We're going to do letters. Oh, I, uh, and just quickly, I saw Encanto today, which I'll oh, probably yeah, talk about right, Suggestible. Right. This week on my less successful podcast, I, I took our son and we went. Our son? Our son. Yeah, great. Our, our little Jiminy Cricket fairy that follows us around. And, That's right. And <laughs> sends us good vibes. Um, so there you go. That's cool, man. But again, I'll talk about that later. Um, what are we? What section are we in? We're I'll tell e- you what. We're doing emails and letters and yeah, so forth. Yeah, If you do want to reach the show, just simply, it's as easy as this. You hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter. Or if you're keen, you, you shoot a Gmail. That's right. Over to Weekly Planet Pod. If you've Gmail. got a bloody essay for us, and it, if well, it cannot be contained within Twitter's 280 character format. If you've got an essay, put in some paragraphs. Doesn't have to be at a natural <laughs> point, but just break it up. Because a wall of text, you cannot do it. <laughs> maybe maybe one word a line. Yeah, that's yeah, fine too. So. But here's a short one. This is from Duran. All right. Duran uh, Duran? Yes, from the band Duran Duran. All right, then. Uh, it says, such a small world. Isn't Hi, it? Hi, lads. Recently, I went on a nostalgia dive, and there was this YouTube channel that made Lego Star Wars animations called ABCD123 Toast. Okay. They hadn't made a video in a few years, so I tried to find, it, find out what happened to them. Turns out one of the people involved is the the very own Ben from Canada. What? The video the video battle for Naboo 2 was my favourite video as a kid. Crazy to think it's over 10 years old. I just thought it was a crazy coincidence that he now helps edit with my favourite YouTube channel. And he's got his own excellent YouTube That's channel true. as well. Tell Ben where is battle for Naboo 3 part 2. <laughs> Uh, from Battle for Naboo that's, three that's past ben, two. That Ben from Canada. He He's a multi-talented. All. He uh, really is. He can do music. He can do editing. He can do acting. He's a Renaissance man. That's true. Like much like the Renaissance era. He's a real Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right. In many ways, he is that man. That's right. But anyway, people should check that out. Give a bump to a really old YouTube video. And, <laughs> that hasn't uh, had a hasn't had a video. Was it A B C D one two three toast? That's like nuts. That. Yeah, it is nuts. The last video was from five years ago. Whoa, that's it. Because a lot of these Legos ones used to. Yeah, the Battle for Naboo is has three point five million views. Oh, I wonder if it's the same Ben. I mean, I guess it is. They've looked well, into he'll it, tell presumably. Us, yeah, that's right. All right, uh, I've got a tweet here, Mason. Go on. Because, you know, it's as easy as hashtag Weekly Planet Podding on Twitter. Mm. That's from Luca who says, Hi, James and Mason, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I saw Henry Cavill's GQ Iconic Roles video today, and he said, Superman is still something I'm very keen to flesh out. Did he mention us? He mentioned us. Wow. Do you want to see him again as Superman, or should they move on with other ideas like Valzod, etc.? cetera? Uh, yes, I do want to see him see again. Him. I'll see another Superman with Henry Let's Cavill, sure. see him do a different thing. Mm. Superman, and he's assembling a PC. 
Yeah, that'd be great. Mm, yeah. Not in costume, just in like a singlet and whatever. And he films it on a webcam. I think he should be in costume and the cape's constantly <laughs> getting in the way. They CGI it? No, it's real this time. They've weighed him down with a very heavy real rubber cape. And a big wind machine. Yeah, a big wind machine and it keeps going over the tower. <laughs> he keeps trying to put in. Oh, and he's put the video card in backwards. He's got to yeah, take yeah. it out again. But he's already done a sold something in for some reason. Why isn't he using his crystal computer at the fortress of whatever? Oh, Great he doesn't question. have a fortress of solitude, this guy, does he? That's right. Because it, got... it crashed into the middle of Metropolis. Oh, yeah. And he left it. He That's just true. let people That's poke around in it. That's true. Yeah. That's so anyway, we, one more dumb Superman movie <laughs> featuring dumb Superman. Yeah, I'd like to see more dumb Superman. Absent-minded Superman. Please. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, I think we will see him at some point. But um, what's that? what that's going to look like? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know at this point. What have you got uh, uh, elsewise? i got one more, one more email. Okay. This, this is from Jay Insult. Great oh, name. Jay Insult. Uh, uh, subject line, translating for a fellow New Jerseyan. Oh. Dearest James and Meso, in your latest episode, at yes. the time of this writing, good, Meso was utterly baffled by a letter from a listener named Rob from New Jersey, which is a fellow New Jerseyan I can shed some light on, by having you read his sign off, sign off P.S. It's pork roll. My associate from New Jersey has caused you to unwittingly voice a side in what is perhaps the number one culture war in the Garden State. <laughs> Fun fact, Victoria, also the Garden State. It is true for some reason. Yes. Yeah. Probably because of the gardens. Probably because of the garden we have, yeah. the one garden. There is a certain I'm, – I'm very fascinated by this. Yeah. There is a certain cured meat product which is produced and eaten exclusively in New Jersey, sliced and fried, most often on a hard roll, roll with egg and cheese. It just so happens that Rob is on the right side of history. This product is indeed called pork roll, despite the insistence of some in the northernmost regions of the state, which <laughs> insist it is called a Taylor ham. Too much controversy. Taylor ham? Taylor is a brand name, so this is akin oh. to calling all tissues Kleenex – or all sodas Coke. At the risk of getting too deep in the reeds, it bears mentioning that even the Taylor package bears the name of pork roll, so you may remain steadfast that your listener did not steer you wrong, even if you had no idea what point he was arguing. <laughs> Incidentally, I've been a... This is a long one, but I like it. Incidentally, I've been a vegetarian for nearly 20 years now, and I still get heated immediately if I hear the product referred to as Taylor ham, so that may give you some insight into how important this debate is to New Jersey culture. Wow. Uh, Does that sound good? Ta- look, take a look at the photo of it and okay. make your own decision. It looks a bit like corned beef. What would I? So I shouldn't Google Taylor ham. If you, go, if you, I, I googled it. If you Google Taylor ham, the Google result says pork roll. Okay. So uh, that that's what you actually get there. Uh, it is my honour and privilege to explain this to you, gents, gents, as I'm both a massive fan of the pod and of Australia in general. Through my involvement in punk music, I've made many friends in your, of your fellow country folk oh. who have in turn told me of many wonderful pieces of Australian culture, including Shoeys, Magpie Swooping, Engadine Macca's 1997, <laughs> and, of course, Goon Sacks. We have something like Goon Sacks over here, but we call them space bags because yeah. they're silver in colour resembling what my, one might imagine an astronaut would drink bad wine out of. <laughs> Thank you both for always being a highlight of my week, and might I humbly request the honour and privilege of being named the official New Jersey douchebag to Australian Bogan translator of the pod. Very yes. truly yours, Jay Insult. That makes a lot of sense why he's called Jay Insult now. Yeah. He's the punk, so. Have you met anybody in Friends or Rom, Jay Insult? I have not. Oh, I thought you were asking me. Have you, though? I have not either. I've not either. But, or maybe I have. Rom, yeah. Anyway, but uh, Jay, if you have met, if you've met Jay Wally from Friends or Rom, uh, let us know. Please let us know. Some of this looks good and some of it looks like a spam sandwich. It does look a bit spammy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, so like, uh, what I was, but by I love regional foods. Yeah. But also, what I like here is that we have stumbled on uh, what I think we should be doing, which is. Um, which is adjudicating regional questions from around okay, the yep, world. Yep, yep, like yep. sometimes, you know, sometimes on the internet, people will be like, "Is a hot dog a sandwich?" <laughs> Let me tell you, as an outside observer, no, it's a hot dog. <laughs> it's a hot dog. And I think people should email in weeklyplanetpod at gmail dot com if you have like a regional argument. Yeah, like oh, well, half of this city says it's a thing, and half people, half the people say it's a different thing. Let us know. Give us. Some information, but not all the information, <laughs> and we will adjudicate. Who's right. Yeah, absolutely, we're happy yeah. to do it. Uh, it's. I don't think it's. Um, it's. It is spamish. I'm looking up the ingredients, yeah, and there's right. a bit of vagueness in terms of like what's <laughs> in this because right. they just be like, yeah, it's ham, but they it's ham and chemicals. They're, not, they're like there's spices and things in it. I'm like, mm. yeah, be specific. What is it? It's, it's extruded from a machine. Yeah, a... It comes out of a conveyor belt. We put a we put a pig in one end. And then a roll of this stuff comes out at the end. I can order this. You're going to order some Taylor ham? I absolutely could. I won't. No. It says it's pork, salt, sugar, spices, lactic acid, starter culture, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate again. Can you bring up the the um? Can you bring up the the ingredient list for spam? We'll see how close that oh, is. Oh, you might be right. I'm just looking at the back of this. 
Yeah, the fat content is not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not ideal. Sure. But uh, the calories are obviously pretty pretty high. Oh, well, not that high. Depends what one serving is. Like what is one serving? Yeah, one serving I mean, is usually like one slice. Yeah, exactly. In my, but oh, my God, love her. Then it's 150 calories. Uh, and put an, egg and put an egg and cheese in there. Oh, my God. I'm in heaven. Let me tell you. What's Spam actually made of? What am I doing? James, we need to know. Oh, it's very similar. Science. It's very, very similar, it yeah, seems. Right. But it does have vitamins. It says 1% vitamin C in its Spam. So I guess that has the upper hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, should we move on? Yes. To, to this tweet. Pod. Oh, okay, to yes. this tweet from Stephen, who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. What do you think is the biggest drop in quality from the original property to the sequel? Men in Black was a, a pre- pre- precipitous drop off. Yeah, but really Zoolander was. was even worse. I've not seen Zoolander 2. Atrocious. Okay. Um, I've got a few here, hashtag Weekly Planet okay, Pod, that ahead. I've written down. Highlander 2. Yes, that is definitely. But yeah. I haven't seen it. Okay, you know that is definitely a drop. I was. I don't think this is probably accurate, but I thought. But Highlander Four. Whoa, back, in the back up there. Baby. They've done it. and then Endgame for Highlander Endgame or whatever. Yes, I know Endgame. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the first one. Uh, Pirates Two. I thought was much worse than Pirates definitely, One. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, it's probably not an insane drop off though. You know yeah, what I mean? It's not Men in Black. Men in Black yeah. Two. Oh, Dragonheart 2. Oof. Okay, right. Wolf Mason. Wow. I've just written probably some Star Wars. And I think it just depends on what you think of certain true, Star yeah. Wars movies. You know what yeah. I mean? But look, prior to this, I would have said definitely Men in Black 2. That's, that's yeah. definitely the... Yeah. Got a few not more. That, not that Men in Black 1 has necessarily aged great. No, I think it's but pretty it's still pretty, pretty good, solid yeah. and fun. And, yeah. You know? It's the one I would watch. Mm. I wouldn't watch any of the others except for 4, which was very good. Chris Four. Hemsworth. Oh, I'd forgotten about. Okay. It was very good, remember? No, it wasn't. We did a though. podcast about it. We said it was very good. No, we both I decided. don't recall that at all. I thought Shrek 3 was atrocious. Oh. But uh, Shrek 4. Okay, but what sort of a time did you have while watching it? A bad time because I was watching Shrek 3. How? What, what sort of a time did you have watching Shrek 2? A good time because it's a good movie. What sort of a good time? It's like funny and good and I liked but what it. What kind of a good time? I had a, I, everybody looked around. You had a Shrekingly good time. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Now, moving on <laughs> to the end of the podcast. Indiana Jones 4. Oh, yeah. Pretty big drop off. Uh, the oh, yeah, definitely. First, yeah. I, I, was, I guess I was just thinking first after, maybe the second movie, but like after Last Crusade. Yeah, I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, no. Um, the Hobbit movies. I've only I've seen the them. last Hobbit movie, so I don't <laughs> oh, yeah, know. that's right. I don't know, uh, but it was bad, so I, I trust yeah. that judgment there. And I put in terms of video games, even though I didn't love the first one, but I really liked the story, The Force Unleashed 2 uh. was was dope, actually. It was really dope. I loved it. And I love using the word dope. What because sort of, dope means drugs and drugs yeah, yeah. are bad. What sort of a good time would you say you had with it? With what? A shrekingly good time. With what? With Shrek. The, the Force Awakens thing you said. Oh, it was all right. Force Unleashed. It was right. it is. Okay, great. It was all right. Okay, great. <laughs> Should we wrap up the show? Yes, folks. Thank you so this much. This has been listening. a shrekingly good time. We've, we're, everyone, we've, everyone in the room's had a shrekingly good time. We hope you, the, the listeners, have also had a shrekingly good time. I can time. tell they have. Yeah, I always initially go with the viewers. I hope the viewers of a what people when, are on YouTube. When I, record, when I record the podcast, I say I initially go to viewers. When we record a video, I go listeners. Yeah, I think my brain's Your gone. Brain is funny. Broken. It's gone, yeah. gone to mush. Anyway, <laughs> folks, thank you so much for listening and and telling your friends about it and and liking the podcast and sharing the podcast and and leaving a nice review. James, I've got. I'm just bringing them up right Bring now, up Mason. Right now. You can just do it in app. It's very helpful. My ears did that thing where it feels like I just went like uh, down in a submarine. We're in a submarine. That's probably oh, good. Why. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this it's is the only safe way to record this podcast. He's got a couple here. This is from uh, RMR1977. Greatest show ever. All the pits. Love this show. If you're expecting hot takes and gas bags, it's probably not going to happen here. But when We're gas bags. Uh, but when they do or don't like something, they talk through it rationally, unless it's Wonder Woman 1984, which we can all agree is trash, unless you don't agree and that's fine. Also, get vaccinated unless you can't. But if you can do it, asshole, what are you waiting for? Look, I didn't. I didn't. That want went to be a lot the, of places. I didn't want to be the one fun. to get political. I'm just mm. reading the review, and this one is from uh, Joanna X, who says, "Not enough cowbell." James and Nick Meso are my favorite dynamic duo. Wow, that's high praise considering mm. how many dynamic duos there are, including Shrek and Donkey from the Shrek mm. musical, which and by in all the superhero accounts, realm, Peter Parker and Ned. Shrekingly good time. Ned. Those two aren't they having yeah, together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrific. What's next, Mason? Uh, folks, uh, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at Gmail or Facebook or Twitter or at Bandcamp. You can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook oh. group. You can go to the Weekly Planet Pod Reddit and Discord and so forth. Okay. Uh, you can follow, if you wish, 
uh, the great Rob Collings, who edits this podcast, and he edits Suggestible, and he edits those videos, uh, Hawkeye, uh, the, our, our Marvel recap videos on on the YouTubes. He's doing he's doing it all. You can follow him at Rob Collings on Twitter. Absolutely you can follow can. him at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. You can follow me at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter on an Instagram at Nick Maso N I C K M A S E A U James is Mister Sunday Movies. Everywhere, if you'd like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies, chuck in a buck or an amount you would not miss. Yeah. That's more after. Or, or not at all. You can just listen to the podcast. That's fine, too. We fun. don't mind. That's right. We what love it. For. Yeah. Uh, or you can go to bigsandwich.co. You can sign up for nine US dollar reduce per month. Uh, and you get bonus podcasts. You get a bonus podcast every week or a movie commentary. That's right. Depending on the week. That's absolutely right. Uh, it's a great time over there. And as mentioned uh there's a there's a fresh hot we got we got this covered covered a podcast where we talk about the best of clickbait of the week and i i explain the, the clickbait and i go through it and i read it and james gets very upset and that's he, he's, r- there's, there's often a sigh this week there's a sigh before we even get started uh, he's resigned to it because i knew it was coming yeah that's right i knew it was coming that's right uh you can also buy some t-shirts at tpublic.com you just search for the weekly planet uh thank you to the brute and the basilisk and rack and for all the musical themes and that yep. is the podcast next week snake eyes uh that's G. right joe presents hasbro pulse presents dmc from run dmc does a rap about how much he loves hasbro stuff and we love hasbro. probably snake we eyes is love in there somewhere. Snake. i can't wait to talk about snake eyes i feel right. like it's been a long time coming right? you know what i mean and I've actually been re-watching it again every week leading up, and I hope people are doing the same. That's right, because then we're all on the same page. We're on the same page of familiarity. Yep. We know like we know the delivery of every line. Yeah, like, yeah, we can yeah. really speak to that in a knowledgeable way. Yeah. Little, little jokes, you know. It's funny how much you can get out of a movie if you watch it seven weeks in yeah, a row. Yeah, and what we're also we're all and and maybe because we're gonna do this too, we're gonna we're gonna make our own Arashi Kaj ninja sword. Oh uh, yeah. We're gonna forge our own swords yep, live yep, on the yep. podcast. So if you guys want to get started on that project also. Yeah. We can we can have a big sword fight well, in Parker's. Yeah, it's it's also I've got the Storm Shadow costume that I'm getting custom made. And, and we're getting the, the clan tattoos, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. got Snake Eyes one, and yeah, it's yeah. just looking. It's actually it's really coming together. We're actually going to film this one. We're currently building a set. That's right. It's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. I cannot wait <laughs> to show right. you guys mm. our Snake Eyes episode. Yeah. Um, so we're filming that this week. That's true. We're going to get on it. I've quit my job, <laughs> and we're going to we're going to we're going to pour all the money we've ever made. From this podcast, that's right. Which is, and I've spent most of that money, so I'm going to have to get out a huge loan. We're going to make this. We're going to we're going to re- remake Snake Eyes. How origin Snake Eyes? I mean, Not how do you? It's bad. How do you improve on it? We can't. You know that's I mean? the thing. We can't do it's it. It's more of a homage. It's I an guess. homage to the greatest movie we've <laughs> ever seen. We've definitely seen it multiple times. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just also a quick shout out uh, to Sarabi and Maisie and Fidel who are, are coming on. I mean, they already they already like adjudicate like the Facebook group, but they've they're coming on board to do like other things as well. Which yeah, I'm, so right. I really appreciate that. We might there'd be some TikTok things and other things going on. We've things got them to we fly to understand. Australia and dress as ninjas. That's right, for exactly. For the snake guy, we're going to kill him. Yeah. on <laughs> going to kill him on screen. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be great. But it's for content. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. And thank you to those people who have been consistently good, but now they get to do have more money, which I think is also <laughs> that's, good. That's right. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, grab that Jimmy, guys. We will see you next week for Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. Snake Can't guys. wait. It's just two snake guys talking snake eyes. You know, we're the snake guys. James, have we have we been calling it? Have we been calling it Snake Eyes this whole time? Because I've I've been watching the Asylum film Snake Guys. I've been watch I watch I've been watch, I've watched that like twenty two times now. I've watched, oh I've watched no, snake guys. that explains your Snake Guys costume, right? <laughs> Very good. All right, thanks everyone. Okay, bye for real, bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want, it's up to you.